Hi, thank you for your patience tonight. We're very excited to have a full house. And before we get started, we're going to open in a word of prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for every student and every family member in this room. And I thank you that you led them here tonight, and I ask that you would just open their ears to everything that they'll hear. And in your name we pray, amen. amen. So, welcome back to Orange Lutheran. I'm Anna Lynn, and I'm a member of the student leadership team here at OLU, and I'm super excited to kick off tonight. So, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of the students who have been accepted to Orange Lutheran that are at, that are in attendance tonight. So, please stand. Let's give a round of applause to the class of 2018. Trinity League sports teams, or perhaps you're interested in missions, clip, missions trips, clubs, or spirit leaders here at Olu, please join us back here in the Nikita Center on Monday, April 7th at 7 p.m. for the Athletics and Activities Night. So 11 years ago, we had a small club on campus with a handful of students who felt a nudge for missions. So that handful has now grown to over 2,000 participants that have traveled to 10 countries and 6 states. So I'm thankful to be one of the many participants. So with the missions program, I've traveled to the country of Argentina, to Appalachia, Kentucky, and to a Native American reservation in Bishop, California. So I would look, if you would like to sign up for the missions class, please see the handout in your folders for a link with the application, which is due on March 22nd. For, may, for more information regarding the missions program in general, we would like to encourage you to, to attend the Athletics and Activities Information Night. So many of you guys have been to our campus for Olu Visitation Day, for Shadow Days, or for our annual Student Leadership Conference. So if you're interested in leadership or school spirit, then please reference the Student Leadership Flyer in your folder. You can download the Student Leadership application at lhsoc.org slash Christian character development. So one thing that I noticed tonight is there is not nearly enough red in the audience. So you can always get Lancerfied at the Lancer Logo Shop, which will be open all day at freshman registration, or every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays after 2.30. So now I'm gonna welcome up our lovely principal, Mrs. Leslie Smith. Thank you, Anna Lynn. I am truly blessed to serve as the principal here at Orange Lutheran, and we are thrilled to welcome you as the newest members of our Lancer family. So just a few months ago, many of you sat in this very theater at Prospective Student Open House. You heard about who we are and what we're all about, and then you completed your applications, you followed up on your recommendations, you interviewed, and then you completed those placement exams. And then you waited for that acceptance letter to come in the mail. And let me assure you, that was a fun letter for us to send. I hope that it brought you and your family great joy when you received it. Hopefully you are already starting to see that Orange Lutheran is more than just a high school. We are a family, we're united in Christ's love, and we are grateful for the opportunity to share, to share Jesus Christ with our students each and every day. Orange Lutheran was conceived and continue to, can, continues to exist today for one specific purpose, and that is our mission to help students internalize the gospel message of salvation in Christ Jesus. As a result, 100% of our faculty and staff are Christians professing their faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. In addition, what also makes our faculty so special is that they are uniquely qualified for their specific position. They love high school students and they recognize that they have been called by God to be here, specifically at Orange Lutheran High School, to serve him through their ministry and high school education. So here you are, eighth graders, almost high school students. In a few short months, you will be freshmen, otherwise known as the class of 2018. Yeah, give them a round of applause. It's pretty exciting. The class of 2018. So students and parents, I'm not sure if that makes you feel excited, a little nervous, or maybe both. But I want to assure you 
that we will take great care of you and we will make the transition as gentle and as pleasant as possible for you. And of course for the parents too. So in fact, the purpose of this event tonight is to start that process of transition. When you think about it, high school is unlike any other educational experience. Students are too old to be considered children, but they're too young to be considered adults. High school is a time to work hard because, as you'll find out tonight, what students do during these four years, it actually really matters. But it's also high school. It's also a time to have fun. After all, you're only in high school once, right? For some people, high school is considered the best years of their life, and for others, it's considered one of the most stressful times in their life. So our goal is to walk alongside you as we partner together to make high school the best, least stressful experience possible. And to do that, we want to front load you with lots of information and knowledge so that you can plan and so that you can make informed decisions. You know, when I began here seven years ago, my oldest daughter, Alyssa, she was a freshman and academic planning night, it didn't exist. So instead, we showed up at Freshman Registration Day and we were handed the information that you received tonight and then we went right into that course registra registration process. I don't know about you, but for me, having to help my daughter make decisions without me having the time to process the information in advance was really stressful. So as a result, we created this academic planning night six years ago, so instead, now you can be stressed two weeks in advance. <laughs> No, actually, it's true. I'm just gonna front, you a little, front load you a little bit. It is true, you may leave tonight feeling a little overwhelmed with all of the information and the process of actually starting to think about college. You're thinking, I just got to high school, now you're talking to me about college? We are, because it actually matters starting your freshman year. But I think that you will find that hearing the information tonight and then having the resource, that curriculum and planning guide that we've given you, having that to review, and then having time to discuss and process all of that before you arrive to Freshman Registration Day, day on that Saturday, March 22nd, it's gonna make you feel so much more confident in knowing what you wanna ask, what you wanna discuss, and of course, what selections that you wanna make that day on Freshman Registration Day. And you know, I think you're gonna find that you're gonna be far less stressed and you're actually going to enjoy it as the first stop in your high school adventure. So at Orange Lutheran, we have a philosophy that we refer to as students first. Every program, every policy, every decision that we make is considered through the filter of students first. What's in our students' best interest, above what's in the best interest of the faculty, staff, and even our parents. Our school exists for our students. We truly, truly want what's best for them. And when our students are, su are successful, that's how we measure our success. So as a result, we are very intentional about welcoming our freshman class and helping them very specifically with their high school transition to high school. Transition to high school. Um, we refer to this as freshman focus. Uh, students, you will be assigned an upper class Ignite mentor who will encourage you, who will support you, who will show you what life as a Lancer looks like. That's a tongue twister. Life as a Lancer looks like. Uh, your Ignite mentor will be with you every step of the way throughout your entire high school experience, throughout your freshman year in particular. And we have built into our schedule regular and consistent times for you to get together, whether in Bible study or in just group settings and also here in Nikita in assembly type format. We also have a number of other support programs. We have other staff members and special activities to ease your transition to high school and begin preparing you for that college application process. For example, as I mentioned earlier, tonight's event, Freshman Academic Planning Night, is specifically designed for an overview of what you need to know for college planning and then to be prepared for registration day. In addition, you will also have your own new student first day of school so that there are fewer of you um, rather than all 1,300 um, students on that first day of school. It'll just be you and your Ignite mentors. Uh, we have Freshman College Planning Day in October, so today we're just giving you a little uh, sneak peek of it, and then we will start to really work with you further in October on that um, specific day. You'll have your own freshman-only counselor as well, um, and that person is uniquely trained and has a heart specifically for your age group. I promise you, you will not be alone. We are here to support you every step of the way in this transition. The four years, it's going to fly by very quickly. To truly make the most of your high school experience, I can't emphasize enough how important it is for you to get connected as soon as possible. And yes, I realize that it might mean stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something that might make you feel a little bit nervous, but truly what you choose, and that's your choice, what you choose to make of your high school experience 
is largely related to what and who you choose to get connected with. So here are some initial first steps to begin that process. At registration day, just a couple weeks, you're going to be given um, your L sticker for your car. Display it proudly as you are officially now part of our Lancer family and it connects you with 1,365 students today and nearly 6,000 alumni and their families. So it's a big group. Attend Orange Lutheran events as soon as possible, even starting right now. This could include games and whenever you get here in the fall, uh, dances, of course our mission trips, Bible studies and Nikita shows. Our spring musical, Susical, it opens on Saturday, March 29th, and as you heard earlier, our entering freshman class of 2018 is invited to attend opening night for free, so that would be a great one for you to come and start getting connected right away. I hope you come and enjoy the performance, and then also, consider auditioning for future shows, even if you have never sung, danced, or acted before. Uh, bringing, being on the Nikita stage here is considered an honor. We have lots of students with varying interests and passions, including athletics and admissions and missions, who um, they actually give the performing arts a try while they're here. Perhaps you even saw the write-up in the Orange County Register about the four linemen. They're a group of our big, strong football players who share their love of music and their gift of song as part of our honors choir. This is your time to try new things and discover new passions. Be curious, be adventurous, in good ways. Uh, ways that will build godly character, fond memories, and of course, uh, great opportunities for you. Another way to start getting connected, you can begin working on your service to society hours on the day you graduate from middle school. Not only is this a great way to give back and share God's blessings with others, but it's a great way to start building your college resume and get a jump start on uh, the service hour requirements that we have here, 20 hours per year. So you can visit our website and you can download that uh, service hours documentation form. Summer programs, it's another great way to get connected and to meet new friends as well as many of our faculty and staff. Uh, they also give you an opportunity to get familiar with our campus and in many cases get a glimpse of what high school life is gonna be all about, what it's gonna look like for you here at Orange Lutheran. Uh, we, we have a lot of exciting campus improvements that will be underway uh, this summer and in spite of all of those improvements, we are excited to offer a variety of programs for our students. So please be sure to check out that summer programs um, brochure that's in your, your red folders and then also the website for details. Parents, something new for you. We want to help you get connected right away as well. New this year, we'll, we're going to be hosting um, an event for you that we're calling Frosh Foundations. We're in the process right now of finalizing the details and building the program, but um, if all things go according to plan, particularly with our building, um, we plan to host this Frosh Foundations. Uh, it's an event on Sunday evening, August 10th, before school starts. It's in the early evening, and it's hopefully we're going to be able to unveil our new student union at that time as well. In fact, maybe even have a meal with you. And the goal of this evening is to gently ease you into the transition from middle school to high school. I was an elementary and uh, middle school principal for a number of years before I came here to Orange Lutheran. And I um, quickly became aware of how different the parent-school relationship in elementary and middle school is from the parent-school relationship in high school. So we want to ease that transition as, as much as possible. Through clear communication, shared values, and also a mutual commitment to providing the best for all of our students, our goal is to develop a strong parent partnership. Not just a relationship, but we really want to build a, school, a strong school-parent partnership right from the start. So in short, the, the goal of this evening, Cross Foundations, is to prepare our parents for high school and to help them be prepared and navigate all that high school entails with their kids. So as a result, please um, save that date and plan to attend that Frosh Foundations, even if it's your second or third or fourth time having a student here in high school. As technology changes, as well as the college admissions process, as many of you probably already heard, the big developments that are underway with the new uh, SAT tests, so does the world in which we live and the way our students learn. So at Orange Lutheran, we are committed to not only staying current with these changes and trends, but also providing a Christ-centered innova Christ innovative excellence, which requires a strong partnership with our students, parents, and their families as well. We will provide you with lots of information at Freshman Registration Day, also via email, of course, at our Frost Foundations event, and other events. But in the meantime, I would appreciate your help in taking um, a, a couple minutes to review our dress code policies and our school policies that are outlined in our parent student handbook, which can be found on our, our website. We are intentionally pre-college focused rather than an extension of grade school. So we choose to not require our students to wear school uniforms. Kids, are you okay with that? Yes, yes? okay, I thought so. All right, so listen up on that though. So 
you hear that, you're not required to wear uniforms, but we do have a dress code policy. As a school, and albeit a Christian school, as educators, we see our role as teaching students all kinds of things, including how to dress appropriately for a school setting. While it would probably be easier for us, as a school staff, to require our students to wear uniforms, because we are students first focused instead, um, it, 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 instead that we're, because we're students uh, first focused, um, it helps us to be able to work with you so that you can understand the importance of dressing for context. And what that looks like, here's our message. It's basically where I am and the image I want to portray influences how I dress. So that's what the intent is of the dress code policy. We want to prepare you for, for life and dressing in college as well as in, in the workplace. The current dress code policy can be found on our webpage, but we will provide an updated policy for you um, at Freshman Registration Day for your summer shopping pleasure. So thanks for being here tonight. Um, I look forward to seeing you at Freshman Registration Day in a couple weeks, and of course getting to know you better over the course of the next four years. Uh, I would like to now introduce you to our Assistant Principal in Charge of Acad Academics, Dr. Jack Royce. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. It is certainly my privilege uh, to serve, to be here, and to serve and support uh, the academic program at Orange Lutheran. And we're all very excited to have you with us and are looking forward to welcoming you to our campus as students this fall. And I'd like to begin um, my portion tonight by taking a moment to introduce you to what our daily schedule looks like at Orange Lutheran. So here at the school, we operate on what we call a block schedule meaning that our classes are scheduled into 80-minute blocks. Our students will have up to four classes each day, and this gives our teachers and our students the opportunity to dig deep into the content and work through how to apply their learning right there in class after they have learned the new material. It also has allows, allowed us to schedule longer passing periods and give our students a more comfortable and less stressful transition between classes. Our teachers and our students have come to, to really embrace this schedule as it has created stronger relationships around the curriculum. This does mean that the students do not meet every day for each course they're enrolled in. We have what we call red days, which are odd periods, and white days, which are even periods, that rotate every other day. So here's a, t here's a look at what a typical two-week schedule might look like. You can see that the students typically meet for five 80-minute periods over the course of two weeks in one course. And I'd like to draw your attention to the, to the Wednesday schedule. You'll notice that students do not begin that day until 8.30 a.m. While it is a nice midweek break for our students, they get to sleep in a little bit, the real purpose of that particular late start is to provide a dedicated setting for our faculty to grow professionally. You see, we have a, a special program that we call learning teams, where our teachers meet together weekly to figure out how to address specific learning needs for our students. You might find teachers testing how involving prediction in a pre-lab exercise in science sparks student understanding. You also might find teachers investigating the use of the passive voice in scripture and how it affects student, students' reading comprehension. And this is a very special time for us, and it speaks to our commitment to learning here at Orange Lutheran. And we also have several, several other programs for our teachers. We have a robust assessment program where our teachers study student results and make adjustments to their teaching. We have support and training for technology and, and much, much more. We see all of these investments in our teachers as investments in student learning. And that's why you see that Wednesday morning uh, late start. You know, it's also important that our students have access to our teachers' expertise. And to that end, it's critical for us to keep our average class size as low as possible so that our students can get the attention and the support they need. In fact, our average class size at Orange Lutheran is 24 students per class. And as you know, you'll be registering for your classes here in a couple weeks. And that process is sort of unique as well. You see, here at Orange Lutheran, we rebuild what we call our master schedule each year based on what the students sign up for, the courses they request. This requires our teachers actually to be flexible and adjust each year to what our student learning desires and what their needs are. So maintaining smaller class sizes is a really critical part of our campus culture, and so our registration process exists in part to help us address that particular goal. 
And the registration process and timeline helps us to ensure that we have the appropriate staffing and classroom space on campus. So your participation in that process begins tonight and will continue at Freshman Registration Day on March 22nd. We're passionate um, here about finding the best ways to reach more students for Christ and also to meet our families and our students' needs. And to that end, we're committed to staying abreast of the latest in technology and innovation. Our STEM program here at Orange Lutheran, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, seeks to create opportunities for our students who are gifted in the areas of science and math. We have two very unique courses in our STEM program, Honors Molecular Genetics and Honors Engineering. You can take a peek at those later in the curriculum guide. Both are lab courses for juniors and seniors. Also as part of our STEM program, students engage in a summer in internship between their junior and senior years at a local STEM company like Boeing or UCI Medical Center or DRS Technologies. Students can apply for acceptance into the STEM program after their first year of their sophomore year. This allows our students to get adjusted to the high school experience as a freshman before they are admitted into the STEM program as sophomores. We also have a comprehensive online school which gives our students and families remarkable flexibility in managing time and organizing schedules. All of our students at Orange with them take at least one online course during their time here. That's our health class. Most students determine to take more than one course. And we have been serving students through, Orange, through our Orange Lutheran online program for more than 10 years here at Orange Lutheran now. And it's one of the most respected Christian online programs in the country. And three years ago, we launched uh, a new innovative way to learn at Orange Lutheran, what we have called hybrid learning. We currently offer eight hybrid courses, and hybrid courses blend face-to-face -face traditional classroom learning with an online learning environment. It offers a space here on campus where the teacher is present, as well as an, a, a, a virtual space or an environment where students can learn through the use of instructional technology. And hybrid learning strives to take the best from both of those worlds, the traditional classroom and the online environment. You see, a hybrid course meets on campus half the time and half the time online. In fact, this fall we are offering a hybrid course to some of our freshmen. If this way of learning excites you and you are enrolled in honors geometry this fall, you'll have the option of signing up for this unique course offering, and we encourage you to do so. Please take some time on freshman registration to learn more about, and our teachers will be standing by to, to share more information with you about hybrid learning. I'd like to also share with you a little bit more about our one-to-one -one iPad program at Orange Lutheran. For the last two years, we've asked that all of our students purchase an iPad, and this is different than many other similar initiatives you might see at other schools. If you purchase the iPad, you are not paying for our infrastructure, our technology infrastructure. You are absorbing the cost of the device alone, not paying a technology use fee here at Orange Lutheran. Our goals are simple with, with this initiative, connecting students beyond the classroom, organization and productivity, collaboration, creativity, and interaction in the classroom, and instant access to the internet. But we also want to partner with families to ensure student safety as they use these devices and access content. We have installed robust content filters on our school internet access, we would and we would like to assist you as you learn how to manage the content and access on your devices, on these devices that you purchase. I encourage you to look for a table at Freshman Registration Day if you'd like assistance or if you desire to learn more. And at this point, you can access our Frequently Asked Questions, which is available on our school website, and we will also be providing some optional training for students this summer as part of our summer programs. We want to help make sure that you have all the information that you need as we move through this process together. And finally, I want to briefly introduce you to our ebook program. In tandem with our iPad initiative, we're also making the com commitment to embrace ebooks as they become more available and as the price and the costs come down. Ebooks are becoming more available and they're becoming available in larger numbers every year. <laughs> Our textbook list will be posted later this spring, and any available ebooks will be included as part of that list. This year, our families will be able to purchase student ebooks with one stop to our student online bookstore. And after that purchase is confirmed, all of the students' ebooks will be downloaded to their iPads automatically through our bookstore app. 
And we are excited about this new program because we see it streamlining the process of acquiring textbooks for our families. I wish, I wish you God's richest blessings as you complete your eighth grade year, students. It is so exciting to have you here. We very much look forward to seeing you all in this, this fall. And now, I'd like to introduce my colleague, our Assistant Principal for Student Services, Elizabeth Hunt. intentionally focus on preparing you for college rather than merely being a continuation of elementary and middle school. With that in mind, we are focused on preparing you to be eligible for many four-year colleges because we not only want to challenge your perceived limits, but we also want you to have options with many opportunities. Here's the good news. Just by graduating from Orange Lutheran, with at least average grades, you'll be eligible for many four-year colleges and universities. But if you want to attend colleges that are competitive to get into, such as the University of California system, many Cal State schools, many private universities, or even the exclusive Ivy League universities like Harvard or Yale, there's much more to know and much more to prepare for those opportunities, even the opportunity to apply. So be sure to discuss with your counselors, you review your course selection at the end of the freshman registration day, and let them know of your aspirations. And you're also going to be asked this question on a freshman survey at the end of that day as well. So the purpose of academic planning night is to get you thinking about what kind of college you may want to attend. So you can start putting the pieces together to get to the goal that you have in mind. You, students, knowing what your goal is will help us to know how to best advise, guide, and support you. Your ultimate goal, which we understand may change a few times along the way, determines the direction you choose. Tonight, you'll hear important information to help you understand what various paths may look like. When you arrive on registration day, you'll have a plan this way. Um, you'll be able to plan for the path that you desire to take. This curriculum planning guide will be the guide that lists the graduation requirements for your specific graduating class as the class of 2018. You're going to want to hold on to this and you'll continue to reference it throughout the course registration process and throughout your four years here. The curriculum and planning guide is extremely valuable as it contains the majority of information that relates to your academic career here at Orange Lutheran. Specifically, you'll find information pertaining to GPA, honors and AP curriculum, graduation requirements and support services, you're going to find those under the Academics tab. Under the College Planning tab, you'll find information including a profile of our recent Orange Lutheran graduates, college admission standards, NCAA information, college entrance exams, and much more. You'll also find information on our STEM program, our online program, and our Department of Special Programs and Services. Vital to Registration Day, you're also going to find detailed course descriptions for every course offered here on campus as well as online. You can take notes in the back pages of your curriculum planning guide as well. So for each course offered on campus, you'll find the following information. A title and a course number, grade level that course is offered for, how many units you'll receive after completing that course successfully, whether it's UC approved and if so, under what category, whether it's offered online or on campus or both, a course description, as well as an explanation of the prerequisites required to get into that class. So as you plan your freshman year courses, please review the curriculum planning guide and also review your placement test results which you've already received. I think they're also in your folder. As you interpret your placement test scores, please note that a 75% on the science section refers to the percentage correct. It shouldn't be viewed as a C grade. For instance, the general, uh, the average generally hovers around a 70% for each exam. So a 75% is actually a little above average. And of course, challenge tests are available when a student wishes to test into a higher class. The first four courses you see listed here are mandatory for every freshman, and the remaining classes are highly recommended. Almost all freshmen will take theology, an English class, math, science, world language, PE, and a visual performing art course. 
Students who have tested into our Honors Ancient History course are highly encouraged to take this class as it's the only way to enter into AP World History as a sophomore. Also, if you're a student who is desiring to attend one of the more rigorous universities, and perhaps you didn't uh, test into Honors Ancient History, we would highly encourage you to take the World Geography course so you can still demonstrate completion of four years of a social science. Counselors will be available, as we said, all day on freshman registration day to answer your individual questions for your student schedule. We also recommend that freshmen uh, complete their visual or performing art credit because it's easier to get it done during your first year of high school when you have fewer demands on you. Also, many students find that they love their visual and performing arts course so much that they will continue on uh, for their future years for your Orange Loop Bank. It's also recommended that freshmen consider completing their online health requirement as this curriculum is specifically designed for underclassmen and it's a great introduction into the online platform. Ultimately, we understand, we need, we need to understand what your students' goals are academically in order to provide the best advisement for future coursework. So prior to course registration day, we encourage you to use your curriculum guide and pencil in the courses you plan on taking on your pink course registration sheet. Many of those courses are gonna be determined by your placement test results and others by your interests. This sheet is ultimately going to be what the teachers sign off on and what you'll review with the counselors at the end of the day. And you'll turn this in and we will enter all your courses into our scheduling system. It is our goal at Orange Lutheran for all students to be eligible for admissions to four-year colleges and universities. To that end, we've identified several measurable objectives and benchmarks to evaluate whether our students are making sufficient progress towards being four-year ready. For instance, we evaluate students' GPAs throughout the year, monitoring students in need of academic support. We expect all of our students to take an official SAT or ACT exam. We also require all students to complete four years of English, three years of math, typically through Algebra II, Biology and Chemistry course, two years of the same world language, three years of history, and one visual performing art credit. We have also developed various support systems, which I'll explain in detail in just a moment. So ninth grade matters, listen up to the students, for two very important reasons. First, it establishes future, your future coursework opportunities here. By meeting certain prerequisite grades, students are eligible to take higher level courses such as honors and AP classes. So even if you don't start in those courses, you'll, you may be eligible to take them in future years. Also, the courses you take beginning in ninth grade does impact college admissions. Many private universities and some public universities will begin calculating your GPA beginning in ninth grade. We encourage you to look at the inside front cover of your curriculum planning guide for a quick review of Orange Lutheran's graduation requirements compared against various college entrance requirements. This is just a, a quick glimpse of a portion of that chart, which does compare our graduation requirements against the different college systems, such as the minimum requirements for the UC and the, and the Cal State, also what they recommend and highly competitive Ivy League university requirements or other rigorous colleges. As you evaluate your freshman year courses, you will want to keep in mind your ultimate college goals and aspirations. If you have any questions regarding if your freshman year courses are appropriate for your college plans, do not hesitate to ask the counselor that you'll be checking out with with any questions. But please note, College admission requirements vary according to each individual college or, or university's procedures. So these are excellent guidelines, but if you have that dream school in mind, you'll always want to make sure that you're following those particular requirements. It is our sincere desire to make every effort to ensure that your transition to high school is successful, and even more that you're prepared for life beyond high school. Therefore, we've developed a variety of support services including two counselors solely focused on ninth graders. <coughs> our first day, which is for ninth graders, and mentors through our Ignite program, where our ninth graders are paired with upperclassmen that, meet, that they meet with regularly throughout the year. We also offer career planning tools through Naviance and tutoring support through on-demand tutoring in the Writing Center. 
Our counseling and college planning department also offers a variety of college planning seminars, such as grade level seminars, financial aid planning, transitioning to college and application, workshop days, college athletic seminars, and that's just a few. One specific investment that Orange Lutheran has made to assist students in their college and career planning is Naviance Family Connection. Naviance is a web-based platform that supports college and career planning. Specific tools include researching colleges, evaluating college uh, options against Orange Lutheran student application history. You can communicate directly with your counselors. You'll manage your entire college application process, all your letters of recommendation and transcripts through this. You'll also complete various career, personality, and learning style assessments. Ultimately, as you navigate your high school years, we want to assist you in finding balance. Stanford University perhaps stated it best when saying, we do not want your high school years to be full of drudgery, but we do not want you to avoid appropriate challenge either. Each student will learn what it means for himself or herself to be balanced. It is our goal to help our students find the appropriate level of academic challenge, school involvement in extracurricular and service activities, and continue to grow spiritually and develop healthy relationships. Freshman Registration Day will assist you in your quest for balance as you meet with teachers to discuss course options, become acquainted with the various activities on campus, including our sports and arts programs. So now that I've given you a lot of information to throw you out of balance, I hope you'll have time to absorb it before then and get back in balance. And please welcome up J.P. Pesley. All right, everybody, take a deep breath. You just got a quad shot venti latte of Olu. <laughs> Trust me, your children are in great hands. I think it's important for you all to know the scope of the admissions cycle and how we ended up here tonight. We as an admissions department have visited over 50 schools, attended over 15 regional high school fairs, and received over 500 applications from 60 schools, 35 cities, and three countries for this incoming ninth grade. We are confident that this is the best class of 2018 in Southern California. It's a little prop right there. So the purpose of tonight is not just to add anxiety, but to give you a four-year academic snapshot, an overview of where we are headed as a school, but also to prepare you for registration day. Let me give you a general idea of what the flow of registration day is. So you're going to check in near the Nikita. Um, if you're lost, just look for balloons. That'll lead you right there. <laughs> You will cruise through Olu visiting all departments for course selection. You'll choose your electives, and at the end of the day, your student courses will be reviewed by one of our seven counselors. And you will receive the one and only Class of 2018 yard sign. Your neighbors will be in this. <laughs> On your folder, and those of you who did not get a folder tonight, there's an opportunity at the, at the end of this to actually go grab a folder. We will email you your times for registration day. Um, and we apologize for that as well. Um, but let's dive into what you need for freshman registration day. First thing that should pop out is that ever masculine pink registration form that every boy loves to hold. <laughs> and also, if you have not done so, your registration fee will be due on March 22nd. In your folder, you will find a sheet creatively titled, Items to Complete Online Before Registration Day. It is important for you to know that the, your student's enrollment will not be finalized until all of these items have been completed prior to registration day. First portion is general information, contact info, emergency contacts, and medical information. Secondly, all students are required to register with FACS, which is our tuition management system. There on the screen shows where the instructions are located. So you're going to visit lhsoc.org on our website, and you're going to click Popular Links. Select the fax icon. You will then be asked to create a new account. Now, those of you who have students here at OLU, you do not need to create a new account. So just so far, this may seem like a lot of information for you. Well, it is, and we're sorry, but that's part of it. But don't panic. All the instructions are located in your folder. Amy and I are here to help. Our phones are ringing, our emails are ready, so we'll, we'll definitely be here to help you. So you guys still with me? Yeah. Good. Remember back in January when you took your memorable three and a half hour placement test? 
We realize that for a majority of you, this one was one of the longest tests you've ever taken. So perhaps you didn't have your A game, or there was material you just hadn't covered yet in school. So relax, I'm a perfect example of life after Algebra 1. <laughs> we will give you an opportunity to challenge your placement test. All placement test results were mailed out to you on February 28th. If you have not received your placement test results, please email Mrs. Amy Bramson. So we're heading on to challenge test week, which is March 10th through March 15th. You need to register an RSVP online, visit urlu.org, click apply now, scroll down and click challenge test information sheet. You'll download a PDF file that'll give you instructions. With all this said, you're officially ready for registration day. Oh yeah, um, one last thing, for those of you that plan on participating on an athletic team, you will find that our practices will start mid-summer prior to the school year, and it closes your athletic clearance packet, which needs to be completed prior to participating in practices or tryouts. Physicals need to be completed and turned in by June 1st. Your contact is Mr. Ryan Liss, head athletic trainer. So many of you are about three and a half months from graduation and wondering what is in store for you here at OLU. And I believe in the next five minutes, we'll quickly reinforce what it means to be more, to be a Lancer, and why Orange Lutheran is the right fit for you. We are on loop. 
Tonight, I'm certain that there is a balance of excitement in here and anxiety mixed with some uncertainty as well. Um, as you exit middle school where you're comfortable, you know things, and entering high school where it may be uncertain. Last year, I, I quickly went through an easy read, which in guy's language means no more than 100 pages, double-spaced, and fits into my back pocket. <laughs> it is called the Red Sea Rules. The stage is set in Exodus 14, with Israel basically overwhelmed in fear and full of doubt, getting chased by Pharaoh and staring at this large body of water in front of them with no visible way to move forward. A little scary, right? Can you imagine what an Israelite's first step felt like? as they stepped into the Red Sea. Perhaps a little anxious, right? Some uncertainty mixed with some doubt. But as the sea separated as they progressed, I am sure their steps were a bit more stable with feelings of certainty and affirmation that God is truly in charge. Now I realize we are not crossing the Red Sea tonight, but you are headed somewhere new with some uncertainty. But we are reminded in Exodus 14, do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Important words, be still. Guys, I just want to thank you for attending tonight. And we can't wait for you to be the next generation of Lancers. Please bow your heads with me as we close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the families in this room tonight. Thank you for their faithfulness in you. May their hearts have clarity and comfort on where you are leading them. Comfort that you are in control, clarity and confidence in your love. Lord, we at Orange Lutheran look forward to having a role in your will for these young people that you have entrusted to us. Wherever we are at tonight, Lord, we are reminded not to be afraid and that we serve a life a Lord that will fight for us as we are still. May your presence fill us. In his name we pray. Amen. See you soon.